What's up guys, CP Mod here back with another video. Now, when it comes to SSDs, we have a lot of options. From ultra fast NVMe based SSDs to still good performing and still reasonably fast SSDs, but they don't exactly run the ultra fast NVMe interface, but come in at a different form factor. With form factors ranging from a stick of gum up to a two and a half inch sandwich, there's an SSD really for anyone out there. But the question is, are M SATA SSDs really actually worth it? It. Now recently I picked up this guy, the Samsung 860 EVO, despite the whole uh, front sticker falling off because apparently the Drobo decided to stick to it and everything went downhill there, but we'll explain that in an upcoming video. But I recently picked it up for a caching drive in my Drobo. And I thought to myself, other than using it as a caching drive, is there really that much point to it? As well, M SATA SSDs haven't really seen the kind of adoption that we've seen on something like the M.2 NVMe side. So today we're running some tests and actually gonna take a look at really what there actually is to offer with an M SATA based SSD. Now for a lot of people when they see this kind of an SSD they instantly think of super fast, super small form factor SSDs. But when it comes to the PC industry, M SATA and also to M.2 are actually two different standards and a lot of people have forgotten about the little old M SATA drives that are still reasonably fast but actually aren't exactly super fast like their M.2 offers. Whilst they both share a very similar interface Actually, when you compare them side by side, an M.2 drive is actually really different looking from an M SATA drive. With more pins available on the M.2 slide and a different slot design, if we put them side by side, we can really tell that difference right here. Again, with more pins and a different layout, it's really not intercompatible. So for all the people out there saying just to chuck an M SATA SSD or an M.2 into a vice versa slot, that's not exactly gonna go down too well. If you did get it mixed up, I don't really blame you as they are really easy standards to mix up. In fact, I went to the point of actually accidentally getting an M.2 drive, trying to stick it in my Drobo and realize, oh, it's M SATA. So even I do get it mixed up as well, but they are different standards. Now with that being said, they're actually more closer to their two and a half inch brothers rather than their M.2 siblings. Even though their sizes may be pretty similar there, really there's not exactly else that much that is pretty similar between these M.2 drives and also to these particular M SATA drives. Now for instance, our 860 EVO M SATA drive that we have here today is close to its typical two and a half inch brother, the Samsung 860 EVO drive, which is very, very similar here. Both sharing the same MGX controller from Samsung and also to sharing the same LPDDR3 configuration, in fact, the same amount of LPDDR3 as well. Both of them with the same formatted capacity and just about everything else on paper is the exact same between this 500 gig drive and also to the two and a half inch 500 gig drive. Heck, even the read and write of 150 terabytes written over the life of this drive is exactly the same. So spec for spec on paper, the drives are basically the same. But with that being said, we don't like just speculating and looking at paper. So let's take a look at the performance numbers of this guy versus its two and a half inch brother. Now, if you want to know more about the two and a half inch drive, I believe I did a video there. If not, I'm going to be doing one really soon if I haven't done one, but I'm pretty sure I've done an 860 video by now. Either way, we're going to be comparing it to an 860, so here are our numbers. Jumping into Crystal Disk Mark, we see, whoa, actually no differences whatsoever. Sure, there may be a few little numbers here and there, but honestly, they're just run-to-run -run variances rather than actual differences between the two different drives. Jump into gaming, FPS-wise, we see exactly the same numbers as we would generally see in an FPS test, as storage does not really affect our FPS. However, load times are also too unaffected exactly the same speed, whether you're looking at the M SATA drive or the SATA based drive. Into the pro app side as well, we also do see, well, pro applications don't really see much of a difference here. And also to in day-to-day -day tasks, I didn't really feel a difference in responsiveness in the system as both of these two drives were very responsive there. So why do these things even exist? If they're the exact same as the SATA drives, why do we even need a difference? Well, the simple answer is space. Now these guys are designed to be small and deliver, well, the same amount of storage in a fairly small package. And MSATA is able to actually do that. Now, whilst they're larger brothers, the big two and a half inch drives aren't exactly full of uh, flash chips. If we've ever seen inside a latest generation SSD, there's basically this much PCB of actual storage and the rest is just empty space 
space because again, let's face it, we're here in 2018 where one flash memory module is like two, 300 gigs. So we don't always need an SSD that's full of drives. But when it comes to small form factor devices, M SATA drives are actually pretty popular. And because of the fact that they are basically the full spec drives without the big housing and they don't take up all that kind of space, they actually offer the same performance without the same type of size. Now there's also to the accessory market where you've got things like custom USB thumb drives that you can use these little guys in and also do things like our Drobo that can take advantage of these little M SATA drives and use them for caching purposes. There's actually a lot of companies out there still using M SATA drives in their kind of OEM designs. Not to mention things like laptops, tablets, all-in-one computers, OEM systems and all those types of things still take advantage of M SATA drives. Again, thanks to the fact that they're delivering that speed but also too, M SATA drives aren't exactly the world's most expensive option. So, well, you can pick one of these guys up without really breaking the bank. And if that wasn't really enough, the laptops out there that have been released in the past three or four years are still shipping with M SATA drives, meaning that even if your computer came with a laptop, there's still a very high chance that inside of that guy is gonna be an empty M SATA drive ready for you to drop in one of these things and go for SSD speed. And you can then have the benefit of having a full mechanical hard drive as well as an M SATA SSD. For reference, the SSD inside of this laptop that's running the teleprompter system that you guys can't exactly see, but the laptop itself from Asus shipped with a hard drive and never actually shipped with an SSD option. However, with that being said, there's a free M SATA slot in this guy. So all I would need to do is plug in an M SATA SSD and boom, I have the mechanical drive and the speed of an SSD. So if you want to do an SSD upgrade on your laptop that isn't a super light or super portable laptop, there's a very high chance that there may just be a free M SATA port inside this guy ready for an M SATA SSD. But all in all, M SATA drives are actually still really valid with a lot of computers and tablet devices out there still using this standard and not to mention a lot of other accessories taking advantage of M SATA SSDs. There's still a lot to love about these drives. Sure, they don't delete the speeds of the NVMe based SSDs and M.2 guys, but in reality, they're still delivering a really good SSD experience for a lot of us on the market. However, with that being said, just make sure you don't confuse M.2 and M SATA because they are two different standards. But let me know down in that comment section, what SSD do you run? M.2, MVME, M SATA, two and a half inch drives? Let me know down in that comment section. If you want to check out some of these Samsung drives that we did check out today, let me know, or rather check them in that description box. Otherwise, again, thanks all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wow.